Hello Taurus! Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is new, so please subscribe and hit the bell button. Also like, comment, share. I would appreciate all of that very, very much. For everyone who's watching, everyone who's already subscribed, thank you so much. I love you all. I love your comments too. I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story on superhero twin planes. Uh, it's called Perception, The Two Yet One, books one and two. You can find links in the description box to purchase my bo books from Amazon, as well as trailers that I created for each of them. Um, I am reading book one aloud to my Facebook friends and followers on a live and then uploading them here to YouTube. I've read up to chapter 11 so far. There are 18 chapters in the book. You can find uh, also a link for um, the playlist that I created for the chapters and the trailer. You can find links to my author's page on Facebook as well as my personal wall. You can find links um, to lives from Facebook that I uploaded. I did the live a couple of years ago and I told my story. Um, you can find that in the description box too. You can find uh, a link to my friend April's new astrology channel here on YouTube. She's awesome. Subscribe. And if you would like to book a reading, you can find the information to contact me also in the description box below. Um, uh, as a reader, I read um, major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you made uh, before you incarnated as the person that you are, uh, to learn certain lessons to raise your vibrations, uh, your soul's vibration. Um, this is a timeless reading. Whenever you are attracted to it, I trust that's when it's right for you. Um, and there are no upside down or reversed meanings to these cards. I, I just read that it just means that the power or the um, energy of the card is not fully manifested or put fully in power. And depending on the position of the card, uh, and what my guides and your guides are telling me, I'll let you know what they mean. This is the uh, Celtic cross spread. I read the positions a little differently than other readers, so I'll explain as I go. Right here, in at the heart of everything right now, Taurus, you are feeling confident. You, I hear, I heard large and in charge. Okay, there are no kings in this deck. The queens are the highest that you can get in the court cards, okay? They are the masters of this deck, and you are the master of your passion, of your fire energy, okay? Uh, wands are fire, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, um, but the queen, she is confident, she is beautiful, she's attractive, she is smart, she is cunning, I heard. She is um, very uh, sexual, I, I just heard. She is, she is like a social butterfly. Uh, but what I'm feeling for you right now is that you feel very much in your power. And you feel like you look good, you smell good, you're attractive. People look at you, they like you. That's what you're feeling right now. You're, you're feeling like a million bucks. <laughs> Okay, so that is super awesome. Now, here is uh, the the energy that is directly affecting what's at the heart of you for everything for you right now. And here you have the four of wands. It could be that you are about to get married or you are, or are about to um, propose to someone or be proposed to a, a queen's energy. Um, it, it doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman. This is just the energy that you're in right now. Okay, so um, here we have wand energy again. This is all very passionate. Um, this this is uh, this is the eleven eleven card. Okay, there's something I'm 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 just feeling twin flame already just from these cards. I I try not to get ahead of myself, but I'm feeling that you may very much um, be headed into. A, a twin flame relationship um, or you are really balancing your masculine and feminine energies now Aries 
is um, is ruled by Mars. And Mars is the planet that is the masculine. And Venus is the planet that is the feminine, that represents the feminine. Okay? So, uh, and on, in other decks, this card will have, uh, as a four, it has a wand, two wands over on one side and then two wands over on the other side. And so that's 1111. You see what I'm saying? Now, 1111 is coming up. November 11th is on, um, oh yes, it has something to do with that because the, uh, the lighting on, uh, on this card here just blew up a little bit. It just got very bright. So, uh, something major could be happening on 1111 for you. This could be when you're getting proposed to, or when you have decided to propose to someone, uh, it could be when you have a major turning point in your own, um, in your own masculine feminine journey okay if you guys have been watching me you know what I'm talking about but for those of you who are new I'm very much about masculine and feminine energies they're they're the twin flame energy which is you know basically what I'm writing about in my novels okay and everybody's been um, everybody's masculine has been being worked on right now we're still going through the right now Mars is in Aries and it's retrograde and uh, Aries, is, as the god of war, um, all those things that are in that are part of the masculine that we call the distorted masculine, they're getting worked on so that the masculine uh, in everyone is more of the sacred masculine energy. The sacred masculine is protective. It's courageous. It um, it helps us stand up for ourselves and for others. Not create war but to support the feminine energies that are creative and loving and abundant. So you are feeling really good right now. And you have this 1111 energy um, that is directly affecting this beautiful energy. Um, in Capricorn's reading that I just did, this represents, I learned from Capricorn's reading that we can see through our third eye in either or of these energies and this card represented seeing in our third eye see how her eyes are closed this represented now this the the sun is the masculine and the moon is the feminine so in this card she is shining like the sun here and her eyes are closed and in capricorn's reading um, they had the priestess and the priestess's eyes are closed and her head was shining in arcs like the moon. Okay, so I feel like you may possibly be using your intuition in your masculine energy right now. Uh, so I, that was just such a cool reading. You might want to watch it. It, you know, just because I learned that you can see through um, your masculine energies, you can see with your intuition through either masculine energies or feminine energies. And then when you combine them, you become the priestess. You see them all. Okay, so what is at the root of everything for you, Taurus, is the art card. This is, okay. First of all, this is at the root of everything for you. <laughs> this is Sagittarius energy, which is fire energy, okay? So this is fire energy. This is fire energy. You obviously have fire energy right here. And now in this major arcana card, you also have fire energy. So this has a lot to do with your passion. This has a lot to do with possibly your well not possibly but your spiritual journey you wouldn't be watching tarot if you weren't on a spiritual journey now this for me is the card of the twin flame of the individual as i said we all have masculine and feminine energies and this represents taking your masculine and your feminine and merging them and creating this balance now this is called art and in other decks this card is called whoops is called temperance and what that normally means is moderation you'll see that she's she or he is mixing um fire and water and you can't hold a piece of fire okay this is alchemy okay this is what it means that they're mixing fire and water in an alchemic way 
uh, to make this, which is the Holy Grail, to make this, that this is the gold that they're talking about. You know, you, you can take base metals and make gold out of it. This is the masculine and the feminine. Even though these are both masculine creatures, the uh, eagle is always seen as masculine as, and the lion is too, but the, the, the white of it and the red, that's masculine and feminine. Now, when you have your masculine and feminine energies balanced within you, you create this beautiful energy that I, that's rainbow energy. Also, you might want to look into your chakras because that really helps because we really are walking rainbows. Okay. Now, this is, um, this, this is such a balance. This person is balanced with their masculine and feminine energies that they, they give off this, this aura. And I call this energy glory. It brings glory into their lives. Now, they're also showing me these arcs. Now, this is the type of, of moon-like arc that I was talking about in the priestess. It's too bad that I don't have it right here in your reading so I could show you. But anyway, when you balance your masculine and feminine energies in your person, you become a very balanced person. You become very powerful, as I said, with this glory. You become a work of art. You become a work of divine art. Okay? So this is the base of the matter. Okay? Your masculine energies are helping you to feel confident. Okay? 11-11 is coming. It's balancing something out. And it could be when this flips and becomes in full power. Whoa! Yeah. Yeah. Full power. See how my... Okay, that's, that's why my camera did that. Oh, it's doing it again. The, you're going to have a lot of power. Will it do it again? Okay, twice. See? Two. 11-11. Eleven, eleven. When my camera does that pale out thing like it just did, hopefully you saw it because sometimes it records that and sometimes it doesn't. But what it did is it got really bright twice. Okay, and that means 1111. There's going to be something happening for you really major on that day, and this is what it's about balancing out your masculine and your feminine, Taurus. Holy moly, that was powerful. Okay, so the next energy that we read is the energy that is moving out of your life at this time, and this is the Prince of Swords. Now, sword energy is uh, mind energy, it's intellect, it's thoughts, it's logic. Okay. Now, this is, um, this is a, a masculine energy. This is an intellectual, okay? This is someone who produces ideas at high speed, okay? This is also an occult initiate. Occult is the same as um, the mysteries of life, such as learning about your masculine and your feminine such as alchemy, such as 1111's power, the portal of 1111, okay? Now, what this is telling you, Taurus, is there was a point where you were getting ideas super fast, and now you're not, okay? Your ideas may have kind of come to a close, or they've stopped momentarily because um, or you were beginning to, or, or you wanted to, and then they just never manifested because he's upside down. But what I think that this means for most of you is that you were starting to study the mysteries. Maybe you took up chakras and you stopped. Maybe you um, were meditating and you stopped. Okay, that's why he's upside down and that's why he's on his way out. That's why his energies are moving out of your life. Spirit is telling you that to, to get this to go right side up and balance out your, your energies, you have to possibly get bring your intellect back into this journey, back into your... Because, okay, fire is also spirit. And like I said, you wouldn't be watching tarot if you weren't on a spiritual journey. You can't leave your mind out of your spiritual journey. You've got to learn things. Start studying 
the mysteries again. And it could be that whatever happens on 11-11 or even after this reading gets you to start doing this again. Pick this back up. You have to use um, all everything in your power, everything at your disposal to become the grand alchemist of your own life, which is the magician. This is how you get things in life that you want. You have to include your intellect, so you have to do the study. You know, like study the chakras, study uh, even astrology, uh, study uh, the masculine and feminine, um, study things that I said about 1111, numerologies, what are these portals, what are the angel numbers, those types of things. These are becoming a huge part of your life, ter uh, Taurus. And you, and you can't just not do this with your mind. You, you reprogram your conscious mind so that your subconscious mind can bring in the glory that you are meant to have. Okay, so the next two energies um, for me as a reader are future cards. And we'll see which one happens first and which happens after as I read. I go down and around in a clockwise motion, so I read this one first. Both of them are upside down, so they are both not fully in power. This is more um, air energy, okay? Air energy is Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. This one in particular has a Libra. There might be a Libra involved with this. But what this means mostly is like here you have another four, okay? I mean, we have this 1111, and now we have 44, okay? Now, if you take a four and you split it up into ones, you basically have 11, 11 again. You have two ones and then two ones. So uh, the numbers in this are really, uh, are really speaking to me here. You've got a queen and then you have a prince. So it's saying that your passion, your spirituality is at its peak. Yeah. But your intellect, your logic, needs to be brought in. Sometimes we feel too logical to, to understand the spiritual aspect of life, the miraculous aspect of life. And I'm feeling like what this is, this usually represents rest. To me right now, it's telling me meditation. This is what you can do with your mind see this is also part of the mysteries is learning meditation along with chakras numerologies angel numbers all these things that we're learning here the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine meditation is one of the if not the most important aspect of the mysteries so this isn't just rest this is mental rest this is how they're both swords. This is how you use your intellect or your mind to bring in these, to, be, to understand the mysteries. Make him flip, say, I'm going to do this. I am now going to study the mysteries. And then you will be this initiate. Okay, don't let the word occult scare you as it does for a lot of people okay this masculine is green they're showing me your your masculine energies will be healed even more if you do this for your mind sometimes we can be too logical to allow meditation to allow the grand alchemy of life to occur in our lives we're going into a new era the era of Aquarius okay an Aquarius is an air sign. We have to retrain our minds. And I'm just saying this stuff. Okay? So, initiate yourself into the mysteries and start with meditation. They're showing me this green. The green is very healing. The green of this masculine energy, this prince. He's youthful. His mother is the queen. Okay? Now, there's no kings in this deck, so there is... A knight of swords, but he isn't going to be 
king. He moves too fast. It's I think if anybody was going to be king, it might be this prince. Look at all this green. Okay. Green is the heart chakra. Green is healing. Okay. So he is the green masculine. He, you need to heal your masculine by um, intellect is a masculine energy. Okay. And that is what sword energy is. It is the mind. Okay. So meditate. This is still upside down. And then what we have here is a fiery new beginning. Every ace, this has not manifested yet. Every ace is a new beginning. This is the first divine spark that kickstarts creation. They're showing me the green again. The green is standing out. This is a healing new beginning in spirituality, in possibly even a job or both. But I'm feeling this is spiritual. This is very spiritual, a new beginning in your spirituality when you include your masculine energy of intellect and go back and on this uh, study, start learning about the mysteries of life so that they are no longer mysteries, okay? So um, this one will happen first because this will be the, deci the decision that you make. Okay, this is an explosive drive, an explosive passion that begins this new creation. This is raw, untapped energy. Okay, this can even be kind of a phallic card. This could, because spirituality and creativity can also be sexual. Okay, I don't know why they're telling me this, but it's take the mystery out of why we have sex. Um, the spirituality, the beauty of what sex can bring us, passion, but also sacredness. This is going to be the decision. Now, it could be what puts you into meditation, or maybe what you do is you meditate first, and then you start. Oh, okay. Okay. That's, then these two will be different for each of you, whichever you decide to do first. If you need to sit down and meditate or contemplate quietly about what you want to do, or if you just feel it, boom, that's it. I'm going to start this. Okay? This is a whole new venture. Now, here is your hopes. Now, this is the moon. Now, a lot of the times, so first of all, you'll see that it's upside down and is not fully manifested. The moon represents intuition. The moon represents things unseen in the dark. Uh, it, sometimes it represents things like trickery and deception. So in, even though it's in your hope section, you're probably feeling kind of afraid, which is why this is upside down and moving out. This could have been your intellect telling you, oh, this is too much for you. This could be your intellect saying, uh-oh, you don't want to do things. You know, it could be your intuition telling you that you do have to be careful when you learn these things, which is true. But for the most part, I think this is all of you, your secret hope to be intuitive, to see with your mind's eye. Your secret wish to be what some people call psychic, to see the unseen, to see in the dark, to see past deception and illusion. Here's your current state of being. You are flipping happy. This is the sun. This is the happiest card in the deck and it is right side up. Okay. And I think it's because of these two cards. Okay, some of the some of you, this really is you feeling confident and happy because you're about to get married or you're about to propose or something joyous like that. Okay, so you are very happy. You see how her head is shining like the sun. The sun is the masculine energy and the moon is the feminine energy. There may be some of you that are about to start a new job. 
for the more uh, I keep hearing mundane mundane earthly stuff there could be a new job but I'm just feeling this is a very spiritual reading you have both the Sun and the moon you don't often see that these are major arcana cards these are major messages about your divine blueprint you're very happy right now and so your masculine energies I believe are are in a state of flux you're, you're really joyful in one instance but your your intellect is also um, scaring you about a couple of things and so these are kind of crossed over you need to heal your masculine yet you're really happy you see what I'm saying you are feminine really really powerful but you're also scared of that power Right now, they're just, they're not, uh, they're just, yeah, they're, your energies are kind of crisscrossing each other. But this is, this is incredible. This is awesome. I do not often see that, and I get very excited about that. The characters in my book are named Sunshine and Luna. Sunny and Luna, for the masculine and the feminine. This is your fear card. She is right side up. This princess of cups. Okay, so cups is intuition. Okay, so you are probably afraid of your intuition. You're afraid to see things that you don't want to see. You're afraid to see things that could possibly hurt you. You're afraid you won't be able to control it, perhaps, because that's how the feminine, the, um, the distorted feminine gets us to think. Because the, the, the distorted feminine, the distorted masculine makes us think because um, the distorted masculine wants to control everything. The sacred masculine understands that he is not supposed to control everything. He's there to support. He's there to protect. So not only um, are you fearing your intuition or fearing that it won't work, or fearing that you don't have intuition, which isn't true, everybody does. She always represents, um, oh, pardon me. She represents taking a brave dive into our emotions. Meditation, contemplation, it's very similar. Okay, you can sit quietly and let your thoughts run. You can sit quietly and contemplate your emotions. Sit there with your eyes closed and breathe deeply and get into a very relaxed state and um, contemplate your emotions, who you are emotionally, what brings you joy, what brings you pain, what brings you fear. Um, meditation by itself, though, is quieting the mind, not thinking, basically listening, listening to spirit listening to your intuition what what thoughts um come to your mind not controlling your mind or you know basically trying to blank your mind out too so that you uh, have room for the messages from the divine okay so you may be afraid of feelings you may be afraid of emotions but you have to understand that they are feelings that's why it's a brave plunge into your emotions. People are often afraid to feel pain. They're often afraid to explore their emotions because it's painful. But what but you what you have to understand is that once you know who you are emotionally, you are strengthened. You are fine. You know, uh you can go back into some memories and you know, sure you might feel the pain all over again but once you get a handle on it once you make a conscious decision about it once you accept it and say okay i'm healing from that i'm moving on and yes you continue to do that in cycles in your life but once you confront these emotions then you understand that you can do that then you understand that you can look at your feelings and you can look at the past and you can look at your traumas and you can look at these things that have brought you sadness and you are fine. You come back out of your mind. 
if you learn how to pull these out and and give them up to spirit and say spirit i you know i want this to be healed uh, i give this to you it does work you can heal traumas you can with decisions with the help of spirit with the help of your angels and your guides and you have to realize that even if you're in your mind and it's painful you're still there it didn't it feels like it happened again but it didn't so if you confront your feelings and you find out who you are you can navigate your life your emotional life better even better than you did before you find that you don't avoid things subconsciously you find that you don't avoid making certain decisions because of something that happened before you don't limit your life anymore because you did this because you looked at yourself emotionally because you confronted your pain because you decided to not let it run your life subconsciously anymore this is feel good emotion at her best this princess of cups she's sweet she's kind she's happy she represents feel good days and you can get more of those if you dive into your emotions and understand them more of these sun moments here's your outcome this is um what they call this is the minor arcana empress and the empress represents the sacred feminine Okay, this is your energy. This is Earth energy. This is a Virgo energy, though. Here we have Venus again. We began with Venus, the, the feminine, and we end with her. Okay, so right here, it's it feels very masculine, this passionate, fiery energy here and here. And, and, and then even here with this air energy of this prince we have a lot of masculine energy here but we but we we begin and end with this, with venus who is your ruler venus is telling you taurus that she's got you and then this is the first step if you do all these things you go on to the path of enlightenment. You study the mysteries. You will become the minor arcana empress, who is, she's not really an empress. They call her that. But what this is, is the nine of discs is a feminine energy of independence. In the Rider Waite deck, you'll see a woman standing there dressed beautifully, Without a care in the world, she's got a falcon. Back in the old days, if you had a falcon, you freaking had hella money. She's not a queen. She's not the empress. But she is an independently wealthy woman. She needs nothing but a counterpart. To me, this is saying that you will have, it'll be like balancing your twin flame. And, and once your twin your internal twin flame is balanced you will have this energy which is abundance which is what the sacred feminine the uh, empress brings you okay to me right now this card is saying this is what you'll be once you do this once you do just go on the path to enlightenment with vigor with passion with unstoppable energy Okay, you're Taurus, you know determination, and you are kind and loving, you are ruled by Venus, you love beauty, you love love, you love the feminine energies. Okay, once you balance your masculine and feminine energies and become your own twin flame and you become balanced and you become the alchemist of your own life, you will have abundance and you will be independently abundant on your own. The... Um, the twin flame card in the major arcana uh, is the lovers. So when that comes up later on, Taurus, then you'll see what has happened here. Now here's the underlying energy. 
And this is what I'm talking about. Here is his mother. She has faced her old masculine energies. This looks like an old man. She's, she is the master of her mind. Swords are the mind. Okay? She's gone into her mind and she's recognized all the old masculine ways of thinking. All the old masculine thoughts that would, you know, that brought her sadness and conflict and war and anger. And she's cut them out of her mind. And now look at how relaxed she is. She doesn't mind that everybody can see right through her little top here. She doesn't care. She's not sitting with her legs together. She's, sit she's light as a cloud. She can sit on a cloud because her mind is so free. She's freed herself of the old ways of thinking. Now you're going to see the, the hermit takes time to meditate. He sits by himself. This is the star. These are your hopes and dreams, your daydreams, everything that you want in life. So what he does is he goes inside to figure himself out, very much like this Princess of Cups. Now she does that with just her emotions. He does it with everything, with his emotions, with his intellect, which is swords, with his health and wealth, which is, which is discs. And um, with his passion, which is the, the wands, earth, air, fire, water, all of those, he goes inside and he finds out who he is and it brings him the abundance in life. See, this is the egg and this is the spermatozoa. So that abundance and fertility is, is a lot the same. He brings the fertility of his, of his life in. <clears throat> wow. Okay, this happened in Capricorn's reading too. This is the Princess of Wands. This is her daughter. This is you started out with the Queen of Wands here. Okay? And now this is her daughter. She is the joy of life. She has the sun on the end of her wand, which is happiness. She's swept away with just being alive. She's youthful, just like the youthful Princess of Cups here. Um, this is making a decision. Okay, this is getting Wow, stability. This happened in Capricorns too. Your earth, air, fire, water. You 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 will rebuild your life on a new solid foundation, more solid than you've ever seen before. You will start a new cycle. You will go through a new portal. Possibly 1111 will be a portal for you where you will see you with your eye, with your intuition like the all-seeing eye of life. You will be passionate with, the, wow, the Prince of Wands. This happened with Capricorn. So you have the whole family, uh, Queen, Prince, and Princess of Wands. Now he knows what he wants and he goes after it. Okay? And this is having the upper hand in conflicts. Uh, if a conflict comes up, you're going to have the upper hand. This has something to do with your masculine. Your masculine will go through wow and then you're going to have victory and you'll be charging forward see you'll want to charge forward he's in a he's in a chariot there will be some sort of conflict that's going to include the masculine in you that will help balance your masculine energies out and you will win you will win and you will charge forward in a big way and then you may even learn about your past lives or you're going to have nostalgia from from past like like you you could be feeling as happy as you were when a child or some other, when you were a child or some other time when you were this happy and then there you are there you are Taurus wise and the teacher holy moly this is 39 minutes this is one of the longest readings I've done I better hurry up here okay so how much um how much control you have over the situation, I can gauge by the number of major arcana cards to minor, and you have one, two, and three. So three out of four, ten cards, um, you've got all the control. You've just got to change your mind. You've got to get on the path. You can become this beautiful, balanced energy. You've got the sun and the moon on your side. These, are, these, these cards right here are just incredible. Okay? You can become the grand alchemist of your life. You can become yourself, Taurus, the teacher. Where'd he go? 
that's what you're going to end up like. Like Merlin. Like Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's you. That's what you're meant to be. Beautiful reading, Taurus. I hope that it resonated with you. See you next time.